Thank you for joining us today on Ed Fowl. Welcome to the program. I'm Ayola Kasim. The use of fuel wood has created a series of environmental degradation. The severe loss of farmlands and poverty among rural dwellers are pointers to these problems. So there is an urgent need to adopt sustainable energy use to stop significant environmental and climatic changes which affect wealth creation among rural dwellers. Today on Earthfire, we look at the options available for users of fuel wood and charcoal. Do stay with us. Tony Agbaje likes her kitchen. She's particularly more excited about cooking now because of her new stove, a biogas-powered stove which reduces air pollution and makes life in the kitchen a lot healthier. The biogas is clean the pot, the pot then fast. If you, if you cook uh, stew in the biogas, it's fast down stove, like normal gas. The biogas fast down normal gas safe. The cooking gas used is produced from cow manure by a researcher at the Obafemi Awolowo University in Ileife, Oshun State. Here at the cattle section of the Obafemaolo University agri, agri farm where um, the university, the agri um, faculty um, have their cattle where they do the research on the, on the cattle and um, we are using the, the, the manure from the, from the cattle to, to produce biogas because what they do with the manure is they just uh, dump the, the cow manure, the, the manure from the, from the cow somewhere at the, at the back of the of the of the shed here and um, the 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 manual you know decomposes and it releases methane to the environment which is uh, a greenhouse gas and it's not good for the environment but we are here to to use the the cow manual as uh, as a source of, of feedstock for our biogas plant where we 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 use the manual to transform it to biogas and the biogas can be used for cooking and there is the production. So in a way, we are trying to, to mitigate um, um, and pollution and indirectly uh, climate, climate change. Biogas refers to a mixture of gases produced by the decay or fermentation of organic waste like sewage, kitchen waste, animal manure, food scraps, and plant material. When all this organic waste is allowed to decay in the absence of oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, and some other gases are produced. Methane is the most important of all the produced gases because it is a very valuable fuel. Methane is a popular natural gas that is used for heating, lighting, and cooking purposes in the home. Experts say we produce and waste large volumes of biogas every day without even knowing it. Every time the toilet is flushed after use, or the kitchen dirt is washed down the sink, valuable raw materials needed to produce biogas is being wasted. For ages, cow's excreta traditionally has been used as manure in the fields, but they are also a source of viable energy biogas, which is capable of providing electricity for domestic purposes. One cow can produce over 30 gallons of manure a day. 100 cows can produce about 30,000 gallons of manure. All that manure can be turned into serious energy generation process for powering electrical equipment for various domestic purposes. Cow dung is used in many developing countries for generating energy. It has a lot of potential to reduce carbon yeah. footprint. By capturing and storing carbon dioxide from biogas into the ground, the biogas becomes carbon negative and scrubs past carbon dioxide emissions out of the atmosphere. Cow dung gas has between 55 and 65 percent of methane, 30 to 35 percent of carbon dioxide, 1.8 to 2.4 percent nitrogen, between 1 and 1.2 percent phosphorus, and between 0.6 to 0.8 percent potassium, and also 50 to 75 percent of organic humus. About one cubic foot of gas may be generated from one pound of cow manure at around 28 degrees Celsius. Around 1.7 cubic meters of biogas equals one liter of gasoline. 
the manure produced by one cow in one year, can be converted to methane, which is the equivalent of over 200 litres of gasoline. Once the manure has been collected, it is taken to the Biochemical Engineering Laboratory, where it is preserved and stored ahead of conversion. Um, preserve it in the, in the, free, in the, in the freezer uh, because we don't use everything that we collect in a day and we need to you know, keep the temperature very low so that the bacteria activity will not, uh, will not go on and if that goes on it will affect the, the quality of the manure. So we preserve the, the manure in the freezer for to in about, um, around about um, 3 to 4 degrees Celsius. So when we need it, we take it out, we weigh the amount we need and we take to the to the reactor to you know, to feed the reactor. And this design is the Chinese uh, dome um, reactor because it was initially uh, you know invented it was invented by the Chinese and um, we have the one we are optimizing so we have the the normal Chinese dome reactor then this is the optimized design which we have tried to improve we are trying to improve the honest design of this uh, reactor. So uh, now, after collection of the manure, we, the reactor volume is about uh, 500 liters, and uh, the two of them, they are 500 liters. So we have uh, uh, amount of waste that we had into the reactor daily, uh, which is about um, 12 kg with uh, 4.6 liters of water daily. So we do that into the, into the two reactors and uh, we also take out from the from the from the reactor most of the biogas reactor they normally put a lot of water they dilute with a lot of water because it makes it you know flow easily in the in the reactor but what we are trying to do here is we want to add very little water so that to conserve space and we because we, if you conserve space you won't have a lot of investment so what we are trying to do we want to try to to have the size of the of the reactor we want to have the size of the reactor and so that we can see how the same efficient, the same efficiency. So what we want to do now, we want to feed. This is the inlet of the, of the reactor, and this is the outlet of the reactor. And we collect our gas from here into the, into the gas bag, and we, we measure the volume of the gas that is collected every day. This is uh, a gas uh, chromatograph, uh, um, uh, machine and the purpose, the use of the of the machine is to help us to analyze our our gas our gas from our our reactor, which is the biogas. It help us to 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 check the quality of our methane and our CO2, and also to check if our reactor is, is performing very well. This does the work of does the same work as the chromatograph by telling us the percentage of methane, the quality of our gas. The feed that we that goes to the reactor stays about 30 days and you know every day it, 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 you know it produces uh, gas and the gas is collected and um, the waste here that is collected the helpline which has you know produced uh, gas that have you know the potential of the of the of the of the biogas has been exhausted to a large extent it's a very good manure and which is what we have uh, what we have here we try to preserve it outside and this is what we have here and these are good uh, uh, organic fertilizer which can be uh, used um, you can apply it on your on your farm although the process of producing biogas is an unpleasant one biogas could be an effective and productive use of waste it's simply a win-win situation